Hi, I'm John Biggs, and we are at MakerBot headquarters with Bree Pettis, CEO of MakerBot. What is that? So what we've got here is a giant heart gear. This is as big as you can make this on a MakerBot replicator. And it looks like an ordinary heart until you start twisting it. And then it just becomes <laughs> wonderful gear porn. And of course you break the heart and put it, it eventually comes back together. So it's my understanding that's all you make here, right? Yeah, we just, we just crank out hearts. Behind us is the bot farm, where mm -hmm. we have MakerBots purring, cranking out new things. We have a whole team of folks who just, their job is to make cool stuff, and we just make it here. Mm -hmm. And MakerBots are essentially CNC machines for everybody, right? Right. It's a machine that makes you things, and you get it, you open up the box, you take it out, and you just start making stuff. And why Brooklyn? The great thing about Brooklyn is there's so much talent here that there's so many people who do amazing things here and we get to work with them. And we have an awesome staff of just people who get it, super skilled labor, super smart people. It's just like, you know, everything comes together and it's just a, it's magic. Would you ever move to a bigger place? Would you ever move this whole thing overseas? Is there any, is there any vision for that? You know, we, we're in our offices here. I keep on like trying, we're, we're growing. Uh -huh. And like, I'm to the point now where I'm having to stack people one on top of the other. But we're actually, we're at the end of the summer, we're, we're just renovating it now. We've got a, an actual office space that I'm like ordering chairs and tables for right now. And we're gonna be, we're gonna actually have a, a place where people work and it'll, it'll look like more, it'll actually look like an office. All right, great. So um, why don't we walk over to the factory and you'll show us around. Yeah, let me show you where the magic happens. Perfect, thanks. And we're in. So this is the bot cave. This is where everything is built. You have, a, you literally have a factory down here. How many people are here? So we've got like 50 people in the day and we've even got a swing shift that comes in mm -hmm. when these folks check out all putting sub-assemblies together and then putting sub-assemblies together into the final assembly, throwing that all in boxes, pack, putting the packing tape on it and shipping it out to the door. And so all of this is all your own, uh, I guess, customer management systems and everything's just home built? Yeah, we looked at all the customer management systems and ERP systems and we were like, these all suck. Mm -hmm. So we had to make our own. Laser cut parts, mm -hmm. you know, you could take a bath in cables if you really <laughs> wanted to. So how, is this just in time? Do you just have enough for, for orders or are you guys holding on to a, a certain amount? It's usually almost just in time. Okay. So, uh, so we usually get stuff like the day after we really need it, but All right. we're, well. getting, we're, we're tightening that up. And what's the, uh, what's the current, I guess, build time for one of these machines? So it's a couple hours on our side to build it together. Once you get it in the box, it's like 15, 20 minutes taking it out, plugging it in, Good mm -hmm. to go. Kind of yeah. like setting up a laptop. So this is the test bed right here? Yeah, so after we make these, they all come over into quality testing here. And so these are literally printing out test, kind of like on a 2D printer, you print out like the test sheet. That's what these are doing right now to make sure they're all, they're all set up and they're looking, you know, everything's you know, tweaked just right. Do you guys do all this stuff here or is it being built in the States? You're doing outsourcing? So. Most everything is actually regional here. Uh, we get our electronics and motors from China. Mm -hmm. um, but like, this is an interesting story. This is a double mill build plate. When we started, we just got inexpensive aluminum and it came off a roll. Mm -hmm. And at the beginning, that was fine. The first couple hundred were fine. But then as the roll started getting smaller, the curve started becoming bigger. And you, we, this gets heat, you know, heated and cooled a bunch. Those build plates started warping. Mm -hmm. So. Oh. We were like, screw that. We, that was, we went to a much more expensive model mm -hmm. of having you know, aircraft grade aluminum double milled so it's milled on one side, milled on the other and just makes this beautiful pattern. Here are some of the truss rods going back and forth, the sliding, I guess the, uh, everything slides on those tracks, correct? Yeah, so this is interesting. This is one of the innovations. It's really small, you can't probably see it, but this is a square nut. Mm -hmm. It turns out for what we're doing, for a long time we used hexagon nuts because we just thought that's the way nuts worked. And then we found out about square nuts and those fit into the hole a lot better. I think the unique thing about this place is you're actually building a piece of electronics by hand. We li we're literally seeing everybody build these things. And, uh, and nobody really understands that this is how this sort of stuff is built. There's, there's, there's assembly lines, you have people who are either happy or unhappy doing it and, and they keep building in, over and uh, for hours. You know, I love having 
people like you over to show what it is we do and mm -hmm. the people who are working on it because so many people when they buy electronics it's like you know when you buy eggs from the store you just th you know you don't know that there's a chicken sure. involved uh, these aren't necessarily it's, it's not these a, are it's, my glorious chickens <laughs> it's, it's not as, it's, <laughs> <laughs> this is how it's done. This is really, you know, this is artisanal. This is our. This, it's not just artisanal. It's, these people have pride in their work. Mm -hmm. They're crushing these things out so we can we can get orders out to people as quick, quickly as possible. We take a lot of pride in making this here in Brooklyn, making it right. Excellent. So thank you very much. <laughs> this has been very enlightening. Good to have you back. I really appreciate the tour. Yeah, a pleasure. Thank you for watching. <laughs>